Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates. This is an honor for me to speak at the fourth Europe Iran Business Forum on behalf of Tehran Chamber of Commerce, Industries, Mines, and Agriculture, and the private sector community. To begin, I wish to point out to the latest statistic released by European Commission saying that the trade volume between Iran and Europe has witnessed 94% increase in the first half of 2017 in comparison with the same period in previous year. The other important issue that I would like to point out before I get to the main topic is the recent report by International Atomic Energy Agency in which Iran is proved to be fully committed to the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. As a permanent international decree as, uh, and has completely fulfilled its commitment. Honorable Gates, after fluctuation and turbulence in Iran's economy within the past few years, which rooted mostly from unjust sanctions, as well as some inter internal mismanagement, with the new government in place in 2013, stability and calm in economy was restored, monetary policy brought under control, and increasing inflation hampered to signal digit. All these led the economy to exit from inflationary recession. In addition, the government succeed to implement some modification which helped attraction of foreign investment. The most prominent examples are the new Iran's petroleum contract known as IPC. The nuclear negotiation which has resulted in GCPOA agreement between Iran and the West paved the way for foreign economic activists, especially from Europe, to travel to Iran in several business delegations, where Tehran Chamber played as the host to the majority of the visits. The effects are being gradually tangible via increase in business relation. The conclusion of several large petroleum and automobile contracts, as well as a large number of small and medium-sized contracts, is a good promise and indication of the beginning to executive cooperation. It is now time for action. As hardware and software infrastructure for cooperation and joint venture has relatively improved. Significant reforms have been made, and the Iranian government has now focused on serious correction of its major economic weakness, that is the banking system. Given the withdrawal of Iran from the blacklist of the Special Financial Action Task Force. This has provided a good opportunity to reform and improve the Iranian banking system in the shadow of further transaction with international banking system. To me, the next four years will be the most suitable time for the sustainable development of economic relations between Europe and Iran. This can ultimately serve to acquisition of long-term 
and public interest in Iran and secure sustainable profit for the other party. At the onset of the era I called as the time for action, I would like to share a significant issue with those respectable investors, individuals, and initiatives who wish to have economic activity, activities in Iran, and that is the optimum choice of cooperation and partnership with the private sector. Meanwhile, the running government strongly supports the private sector role and control in economic affairs as well as prohibition of government for a meddling in economy. But this is not the all. Within the past few years, the private sector itself has put much effort in order to enhance its position in Iran as well as the global business environment. For instance, Tehran Chamber of Commerce, Industries, Mines and Agriculture has made maximum efforts for the purpose of purchasing the rights and demands of private sector activists and has been successful in eliminating some major hardness in numerous aspects such as tax and insurance. At the time, at the same time, Tehran Chamber has selected some other futuristic initiatives in its agenda, including the establishment of Tehran Chamber Arbitration Center to settle the potential dispute between business parties. Therefore, it is now possible for Iranian and foreign businessmen to mention Tehran Chamber Arbitration Center in the contracts as the point of reference in case of any legal dispute. This will help parties settle this dispute as lower cost and less time. In addition, to help the promotion of foreign investment and development of private sector cooperation, Tehran Chamber has established a center for investment services which is designated to identification of investment opportunities in Iran and introduction of them to foreign investors, as well as identification of heartless on the way of investors and making efforts to eliminate them. This will ultimately improve Iran's economy image in international arena. The center aims to improve the international ranking of the economy according to new situation. A clear indication of that its negotiation with Canadian-based Fraser Institute for improvement of economic freedom indices according to the new reforms to the economy. To this end, a while ago, Tehran Chamber hosted the founder of the institute with some companies and a seminar with several training workshops was held in Tehran. Fortunately, all uh, statistical reports for months after GPOs, uh, GCPOA show notable growth in cooperation between the two sides. According to European authorities, the amount of Iran's export to Europe has tripled since, since GCPOA and this increase in critically important to Iran's economy. 
thought the figures are still way down. In 2015, the value of export from Iran to Europe was 1.235 billion euros. However, the figures come as 5.494 billion euros in 2016. Within the first half of 2017, the amount of business transaction between two sides comes to 10 billion euros, which is twice in comparison with same period in last year. Also, resumption, resumption of oil purchase from Iran has been important in this regard. The interesting point is that exchange of non-oil products has been significantly important in Iran-Europe transaction. This is eventually a res represent representation of relations enforcement between two sides. <laughs>